Hi Rich Gang! Today I'm going to show you some of the keto items that I actually still have in my refrigerator and cabinet that are not actually good item women. Today I'm going to show you some of the items that I had in my cabinets and refrigerator that were not considered good keto items. The reason I'm making this video is because I am just starting keto. Therefore, I, abs I have some things already that I thought would be okay, but they're not really okay. The whole goal of this video is to encourage you to turn your food labels around and actually read your nutritional facts. That's all this video is about. It is to bring awareness to nutritional facts and to encourage you when you're selecting foods for your family, your children, your friends, that you have taken the time to check the nutritional facts on those food items. So let's get into it. It's going to be talking one too. So before I started keto, I used to love drinking ginger tea in the morning. I have problems with upset stomach a lot of times if I eat something that actually has cheese in it or things like that. Sometimes I wake up and I have a very bad upset stomach if it doesn't wake me up in the middle of the night. So I had gotten in the habit of drinking ginger tea, a glass of ginger tea every morning. I thought it was really good. I never looked at the facts. I looked at this as, oh this is very convenient. Um, it comes in little individual packets like this and you just put it in some hot water so I was able to take um, a couple of these packets to work and I would just put these in hot water and when you're looking at the ingredients it says sugar cane honey and then vinegar so in that order let's look at the nutritional facts so this is 70 calories per packet 18 grams of carb 17 grams of sugar and everything else is zero so this is like a whole day's worth of carb right here in this one glass of ginger tea so i haven't had this in a while okay trail mix trail mix is another thing that i always like having let's look at the nutritional fat you get 140 calories 15 grams of carb and one fourth of cup so stuff that i thought was really okay like i don't want it like right now i don't eat anything unless it's in a single digit carb i would never sit down and eat anything that was 10 grams 12 grams of carb in one meal never and who eats a little fourth of a cup like we sit there and we do handfuls so you might have three handfuls of these that's out of here here's another one and it looks really bad because it's been sitting around my house a long time looks like this thing expired three months ago but these wraps right here and not all of them now from what I can understand this company does make some now that are low carb but before keto I thought if I got a green or a red wrap I would be okay but let me show you why this is not okay and the only reason why you'll know is by looking at the nutritional facts there's no nutrition on the front of this now that I'm looking at it none no nutrition on the front so I'm going to turn it around let's look at these fats. For one wrap you get 220 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, um, you get 530 milligrams of sodium um, which is one reason why I cut back on these back in April when I found out I had high blood pressure and I ate these faithfully. Guess how many carbs? Have you guessed? 38 carbs in one wrap. 38 now I've set the goal to only have 20 carbs or less per day this is almost two days worth of food in one wrap so a lot of people like to do that math but I don't really see it any different so the total carbs is 38 there are three grams of fiber and I think some people say you subtract the fiber from the carb but it's still 35 of carbs just for this you haven't even put anything in it yet is 35 of carbs so this is out so then this is more of a recent purchase like two weeks before I started keto 
you know, I wanted to do some sandwich-like things, but I didn't want to get sandwich bread. So I got these things. They look like little pockets. Um, they're called, I guess they're pitas. I can't figure out the um, Sahara pita pockets, yeah. Sahara Pita Pocket. They are 140 calories for one. Zero fat. 230 sodium. And guess how many carbs? 27 grams of carbs. Four fiber. So it really would be 23 carbs. But still, this is one whole day's worth of food. And just the pita. You haven't even put anything in it. I guess you have to put celery in it. <laughs> or cabbage. Or asparagus. For this to be okay but this is a whole day's worth of carbs in one pot now they do have the nutritional facts right here but one thing you'll notice is a lot of companies do not put the carbs on the front they put the nutritional facts that sound good like hey this is only 140 calories it's zero fat it's 230 sodium and it's two grams of sugar and bread a lot of times in the store will have a lot of sodium so when I saw the 230 I was like okay this is low sodium I never turned the package around to look at the carbohydrates now a lot of people ask me about keto and I'm not no expert I'm just learning but we have a doctor right here on YouTube I'm going to post his channel up here and I'm going to post it below he is giving you all the information from the medical perspective um, just the gist of it he said a keto diet is just a low carb diet which is the same diet that a lot of diabetics need to be on or have to be on in order to survive and it's also the um, same reason why we suffer with a lot of belly fat that will not go away is because we're eating diets that are too high in carbohydrates so I'm gonna put that doctor's link down I also have the nurse link heck I'm gonna go ahead on and put the link to my car nutrition playlist in the rich box below so if you would like some more information if you want to know who I'm watching that will be down below oh man I'm gonna show my yogurt right here and I'm just gonna show a picture because any more of it um, my favorite yogurt, I think it's called cashew yogurt, is made out of cashew milk and I love to eat that. I would eat what's called as my adult cereal. Um, it would be cashew yogurt, it would be granola and strawberries, blackberries, blueberries. I would just put a little fruit in there and I would call that my adult cereal. Love that to death. Sometimes I would eat it at night as like the end meal if I didn't feel like cooking, right? So the cashew yogurt has it has about 130 calories, 5 grams of fat, 20 carbs, and 1 fiber. So for one serving size of the um, yogurt, I was having at least 20 carbs without adding the other items to it. So the cashew yogurt is out. I cannot do that cashew yogurt anymore. And this is just a typical um, bag of granola I would get. There's no nutritional facts on the front except it says 4 grams of sugar. So you would think 4 grams of sugar, maybe it's only 4 carbs. No, you have to actually turn the item around and let's look at the nutritional facts. So this is 120 calories for one fourth of a cup, which is probably about how much I would put in my yogurt. It's 2.5 grams of fat, zero cholesterol, zero sodium, which is really good. But the total carbohydrates are 22. And then there's three fat. So you could take the three off of 22, and that would be 19 carbohydrates in one fourth cup of this granola. Is this worth? your whole day's worth of eating. In the morning, I ate two eggs with cheese, with bacon, on a, a piece of cloud bread. Yeah, two eggs, cheese, bacon, on a piece of cloud bread. That was 1.5 carbs. That was two carbs. Let's just say two carbs. That was two carbs. I'm going to put a picture of it right here. This is what I ate this morning. I know it looks kind of funny, but I was first I was going to try to make an um, 
omelet but I messed up the egg so I just went on and scrambled it on up so that's what I had this morning I had that at 9 o'clock it's now 12 o'clock I'm still not hungry and it filled me up that was less than two carbs and then someone told me oh you need to try um, some different types of sugars there's some sugars out there that you can try coconut sugars that don't have as many carbs and all of that so I think I got this one from either mom's or um, Amazon and I guess this is a good option um, I think it's the same amount of carbs as the yellow or pink packets this actually has four grams of carbs so sometimes I will have this first thing in the morning with my coffee um, but a lot of times I do this Sestiva instead of this um, I didn't realize this had four grams of carbs but even with four grams of carbs in my coffee and two for breakfast that's still only six carbs out of 20 that I can have for the day now let me see if I get to keep my vegan sour cream I get this from mom's I love it it makes me feel like I'm a cool kid because I can make tacos and I can just use my vegan or if I go to Chipotle I just not put on any of their dairy products and come home and put my own on it this is um, 50 calories for two t um, tablespoons you get five grams of fat um, 25 milligrams of sodium and three carbs however there's two fibers in here so you can have two tablespoons of this sour cream is one carb and I have to use this because I, I I'm lactose intolerant so I have to use the vegan um, sour cream but I'm sure you guys probably use the regular sour cream but there's one carb in here now let's look at another item I haven't eaten it yet I haven't tried it yet but I hear a lot of people talk about fried rice but they actually use cauliflower so I got this one from my local local grocery store and I haven't even looked at the back yet but I think I purchased this last weekend so I really need to cook this this weekend I saw a young lady here on YouTube do a video where she did um, hamburger and cauliflower casserole so it sort of reminds you of a um, macaroni and burger casserole instead you're using this cauliflower so I may try that since I since I do have it so instead of those mission wraps I found two different types of wraps that um, were available on Amazon I'm not sure if they're in the stores yet it was just easier for me to go to Amazon and order it because I wouldn't be distracted by the other things and I would get to pick them out and I have tried them both and I'll tell you what I think about um, this is the tomato one it's a tomato wrap it's 25 calories per wrap zero fat zero cholesterol 35 milligrams of sodium and five total carbs but there is one fiber so all together you have four carbs with this one and what I like about this one is um, once you wrap your food up you just sort of put a little water on one end of the wrap and fold it over and it seals your food inside of this wrap so this is really neat it's actually four carbs and so you could throw tuna fish in here you can you can do eggs and bacon um, they did some cheese and tomato and pesto and things like that but uh, and basil but that's the tomato wrap I like it the other one I was a little sketch about is this coconut wrap I do not like coconut anything but um, after being on this diet for about three or four days I really wanted a sandwich real bad some kind of way to fix a sandwich but I didn't want to you know use use the bread because it would be too many carbs so I said well just try it give it a try maybe something has changed in the coconut and it's not as bad as what you think it is and I'm going to tell you I like this one for doing tacos something where you need a wrap that's a little more stiff this one is a little more pliable you can move it around like I, I, um, I wrapped it in a burger one time a burger lettuce tomato cheese mayonnaise and had a burger wrap 
Um, I wrapped it in my eggs in the morning. So this one is really, really pliable. This one is a little more sturdy. So if you want to have a taco, something that, you know, a little more structure to it, that's what this one is better for. And I do like it now that I figured out how to really use it. Now there are 70 calories in this one, 5 fats, um, 0 cholesterol, 10 sodium. We have 6 total carbohydrates and there are two fibers so this one is actually four carbs so yeah I got these on Amazon I'm not sure if they got them in the stores but this is what I'll be using in place of the other um, mission wraps until I can find those mission wraps that are keto they got some mission wraps that are supposed to be keto I haven't been able to find those yet <laughs> That's just one list of some of the foods that I had to get rid of and some of the foods that I bought in. Um, I'm actually, I don't have my phone. I actually broke my phone and I've been without a phone for like almost 10 days. And so when I get my phone back, I'm going to go through my shopping list at Sam's. Because that's where I do the bulk of my shopping from Sam's which I buy my meats there and some other things and I want to show you some things that Sam's that I purchased that the carbs were way off and, but I can't remember it now because I don't have my phone so I forgot one <laughs> I kept hearing so much where people were eating bacon 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 on keto but I don't like cooking bacon in my house I just really don't like cooking the smell of pork or things like that in my house so I found this at Sam's it is um, real crumbles of bacon and I think this is like a pound or pound and a half oh it's 1.25 pounds okay so this has been a godsend to me I use this for of course for my salads but just for my eggs in the morning. I sprinkle some of this bacon in it. Voila. Got a full meal. Um, I have put it on yeah, my salads. Um, my wraps. I put it on top of my burgers. I use these bacon crumbles for everything. They're already cooked. It's 100% bacon. It's crumbled up. I just love it. So um, let's check the facts. It's 30 calories for one tablespoon. Um, 2 grams of fat, 10 cholesterol, 125 milligrams sodium, and there are zero carbohydrates. That's why everybody eats bacon. It's zero carbohydrates. Now, that's not going to be a reality for me because I have high blood pressure, so I still have to watch my sodium. But, anywho, I love getting this bacon crumble in the bag. I can use this for any recipe, anything like if I fix this rice cauliflower and I feel like I want to kick it up a little bit, I might put the bacon crumbles in the pan first to give it some flavor. Bacon gives a lot of things some flavor. So yeah, bacon crumbles, this is what I use. I don't cook bacon on my stove I just use these crumbles in anything that I want to cook so yeah that's another option as well and that's why a lot of people eat bacon is because there's no carbs in bacon but remember there are other things in bacon that may not be um, that good for you I know a lot of people don't do pork and then a lot of us may have problems with blood pressure where we have to watch our sodium intake. So be conscientious of that as well. One last option that I have been using for the past three or four months is my almond cheese. I know a lot of people, when I first thought about keto, I sort of cringed because I saw a lot of people eat meat and they was eating a lot of cheese. And I knew that cheese was not going to be an option for me. So I was able to go to mom's and find this almond cheese. Works like any other cheese. This is what I use. Thanks, Rich Family. I appreciate all of your support. And I just want to encourage you to keep checking your nutritional facts on your packages so that you can make the best choices for your family. I will see you on the next video. Peace.